and aliens are real. I, they have to. Yeah, what do you think? You think aliens? Man, I don't know. Well, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't Could know. Be. It, it's too big, you know, the... The, the, ga- the galaxy, the yeah. yeah, it should be the galaxy. There's more. So we don't know nothing yeah. about like, like they say, like uh, what's called the guy that that's going to Mars. Uh, Elon, Musk. Elon Musk. Yeah, Elon. There's life there. That's oh why, yeah, that's why they say. Uh, like I that's why he like said. I don't think that's so, a. I don't think that it's a question of whether or not there's life anymore. I think the question is whether or not there's intelligent life <clears throat> because they found. Um, like craters on Mars and things that showed that there was remnants of water and like crystified water and stuff. Yeah. So I think that they have like bacteria that they come back with, which to me is like, I wonder if my conspiracy mind starts going and I'm like, I wonder if they're like slowly releasing this info. Like, oh, hey, there's life. It's not intelligent. Calm down. And then like in another three years, you're like, it's plant life. Then in like another five years, you're like, it's really stupid dog life. And then like in 30 years, you're like, yeah, you're basically working for fucking Zunu now. Like, you know, like he's he's our new overlord. Imagine the vaccines to go to Mars. How many vaccines are you going to need to go to Mars? Yeah, you're going to have to just, you're going to have to be on an, a, a Lysol drip. Just yeah. we, found, we found COVID in Mars, guys. <laughs> for sure. Like that's probably where I came from, that, that, the Chinese COVID on Mars. So, so in your theory where <coughs> aliens exist, which I'm, I, I'm leaning to agree with you, you think is like super common in the sense that there might be life in Mars that we are not aware of and in every other uh, planet in the solar system, or is it like scatter? So I think that like there's there's more universes than there are grains of sand in the world. So if you really think about that, so like, like a multiverse. Oh well, I mean multiverse is like parallel universes. Let's just think on like just on the one plane of existence. Like we're still confined. Like if you took a, a dog, right? Like his reality is confined by his belief system, his intelligence. He can't think. He doesn't have a sense of self, right? So like even within our own intellect. We're still confined by our own senses of like, you know, smell, touch, stuff like that. Like, so to think that there's not like a higher plane is is crazy to me, right? Yeah. Like, I think we all got here for some reason. And I think that it's like, without even having tangible proof, is it illogical to think that we're the only life force out there that's, yeah, I mean, like, if you really think about it, like, how are we the only intelligent life? And if you look at like, if you really want to go take the uh, walk down the rabbit hole in terms of like, you look at the Roswell landing and stuff, like technology from like humans been around for tens of thousands of years, the technology we had until like the 1940s is dwarfed exponentially by the technology we had by like, I believe in reverse engineering. Like we took this thing and how the fuck does that work? And then suddenly we have microwaves and fucking cellular phones and TV pictures and people are being sent here and we can go hyper speeds and all that like in granted technology is exponential, right? Like this microchip that we invented today is going to play a role in that AI tomorrow, but it really has like grown so fast over the last like 60, 70 years. Like we've come further in seven years than we did in 7,000 craziness. So I, I agree with you in the sense that we're natural, right? We're a natural occurrence and nothing in nature occurs in once. So for that matter, like you said, you know, there should be plenty, plenty of universe, plenty of everything. But then the next question is, do you believe in uh, time travel? Because sometimes the, 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 the argument or the, or the idea splits into being aliens or being humans for the future really advanced. You watched Interstellar a lot, didn't a you? Lot. A lot. Of Last so, night. You know, time travel is, is theoretically possible based on like wormholes and like the way that, you know, if you like, how, yeah, I don't know if we can, I'm, I'm going to fuck up quantum physics right here, but basically like time, like a wormhole just takes two parts of time and like it becomes like a poking a hole through it. So in theory, um, if you could pass through a wormhole, time travel is possible. Now, I don't know if that's going to be something we experience or anything like that. I'm just hoping Elon Musk finds a way to upload our consciousness to like the cloud so that we can live forever if we want to. Um, but I don't know. Like, I mean, if I, I think that like the first pill to swallow is that we're not alone in this incredibly vast universe. And, um, you know, Joe used to do, Rogan used to do a stand up bit when people would go to the Grand Canyon and they'd look down and be like, oh, look at how fucking crazy that is. And he's like, look up. What the fuck's that motherfucker? You know, and it's like, that's crazy, right? Like, cause like we look at this thing, we're still pigeon held, like looking at our feet the whole time. And like that goes on forever up, up. That's fucking forever. Like you can't even really think about how far and how big that is. So, but like, 
I think like common sense, right? Like if there were aliens, the next question is, is would the government acknowledge them and why or why wouldn't they? What's why would they, there's no benefit of the government coming out and saying there's aliens. There's, yeah, yeah. there's no benefit. Like they're going to lose control. It's going to be fucking chaos. Like we, we get like a, a little chicken disease from China and we're losing our shit. Inflation's up like 80% of the dollars in circulation now were printed in the last 24 months. Like fucking inflation's insane. I mean, it's, it's crazy. So, like, if they said, you know what, okay, there are little gray men from, like, Beta Reticula or whatever, and they've been giving us information, and also, like, I don't know if there's a reptilian race running the government or anything, but in terms of, like, different types and species of, like, aliens, I absolutely believe that we're not alone, you know, and that that's the biggest, you know, Stephen Hawking said, uh, you know, that if... Um, if there were aliens that they would probably be aggressive or that they would probably like want to kill us. And I don't necessarily agree with that. Cause I mean, I think like, like there's, if they're here, the only thing I can think of is if there's some difference in terms of time, like maybe a day to us or maybe like a hundred years for us is a half an hour for them. Who knows? Maybe that like on that spectrum or something, but there's a, there's a few documentaries on Netflix too, that even talk about you see these like videos, right? Like, they're always fucking grainy and from way far away, and for some reason off of balconies in Mexico. But like these, like this spa- the, the, the space, the orbs, right? The, or- the orbs, and like there's different shapes, but the way they move, there's it's the only, um, it's the only craft that doesn't have any like um, like trail of chemtrails or any like thing like that. But and and that's always been very fascinating to me. Like how does that propulsion system work? And I, I can't think of the guy's name. He's um, he's another big Vinny. You remember the guy's name? That's uh, he's an alien conspiracy theorist. That he's allegedly um, what? No, I just was talking about him. He he uh, allegedly worked at uh, Area Fifty One, and people tried to debunk him all the time. He's called oh, Bob Lazard. Bob Lazard. Did yeah. you watch the Bob of Lazard? I've been. A, I mean. I've, Bob, Lazar, Bob Lazar, yeah, Bob Lazar. Yeah. So, like, Bob, you know, talks about how an alien spacecraft works with, you know, like, like the electromagnetic and cre- uh, creates a gravity propulsion. field, right. right? Well, like, basically, like here, how like this drops because of gravity that they can put the gravity field wherever they want. So, if they're mm-hmm. here, they put it here and they go, they basically get sucked into the gravity of it, mm-hmm. and that's why they're able to move so quick. I'm like, that makes a ton of sense. Um, but who, I mean, who knows if it's real? But that's some fucking interesting stuff. How do they make this tour? Uh, the steering, yeah, I think so. The, the the way that that my understanding of it is is like it's it's wired into like how your thought process. Like it's not like, yeah. woo, you know, like because like we're Neuralink, still, it's like right? Mass, yeah, uh, because Neuralink. we think of steering in the way that we understand steering, which is not the theory, theory, like the theory of how they how they they, uh, they make the steering like that. There's aliens out, out there, and then all those things. Oh, you mean like Bob Lazar? Yeah. Well, this guy they said that he was something like. Well, he uh, alleged, so he he in the nineties came out with all this information and talked about element one sixteen, which at the time you know it wasn't proven and it was just proven lately. Recently, yeah. And uh, so, so he has a lot of information. He the reason they call it Area Fifty One is because of Bob Lazar and mm-hmm. all the info. He, he kind of went crazy. They found out his wife was cheating on him, and, and that he was that, a little yeah. bit uh, unstable. And they're like, let's take him out of these projects because this guy's gonna lose the yeah. And then they just stopped picking him up because there's like a special airport that he was going and from there traveling to uh, to landing on, on on s4 area 51 well the, the the so like the big thing with um uh roswell was you know the whole thing oh it was a weather balloon it was right. a weather balloon right so on his deathbed i don't remember the guy's name but the guy that was the head of pr for the army that wrote that press release on his deathbed and he has nothing to gain from this he wasn't writing a book he he uh, swore an affidavit that i lied that wasn't a weather balloon it was a recovered spacecraft wow. so like things like that or i mean like i don't know bob lazar i think he's very credible i mean if you look at the do the diligence it makes a lot of sense but if you look on a macro level like um at some of the things like Stephen Greer talk about in you've got interviews and documentaries with like multiple heads of state, former like a CIA agents, people, and they're all kind of like saying the same thing that the, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, it's, it's, I think it's, it's very reasonable to think that, that that's the case. So you thought you were coming here to talk about jujitsu. Now we're talking conspiracy <laughs> talking theories, <laughs> crazy shit like that. It's bananas.